Yo, Demonio Sex here. Last video in Michigan. Yep. I'll be leaving here for, uh, I'll get married in Friday and then I leave Saturday to my new place of residence. It's a beautiful sunny spring day here in the old MI. And, uh, I'm excited to be moving on with my life. I just got a few little last things to pack. I just gotta pack my spools, my clothes, and I'm pretty much done. I'm really excited. I gotta take bottles back tonight because I had a small party with my friend Bill. Me and my friend Bill are playing NES on the Wii emulator, and we were um, getting drunk off Milwaukee's Beast and had shots of uh, vodka. We were both pretty pished by the night's end, and it ended in a bad note because he lost his iPhone, and uh, I had to go and look for. Or, excuse me, his iPod. It's uh, iPod Touch, I believe it's called, and I'm not really familiar with Apple products because I think that I, personally. I think they suck. You know, I, I I know there's fans of iPad, iPad 2, and all that shit, but let me tell you, I used, what was that tablet called? I thought that, I can't remember the name of the tablet per se, but because, you know, like I said, my mind's all over the place because of everything that's happening, but uh, I prefer, I prefer that over the iPhone. The iPhone's not bad, or the iPad, excuse me, the iPad is not bad. It really isn't. You get what you pay for, but, you know... Much like Intel AMD, I think AMD is a better processor because it's it's more affordable for the consumer and it does just as much as a Pentium processor. To me, Pentium's for noobs. All right, I don't care. Go ahead and say Pentium's better for this and this reason. I don't care. I've had problems with Pentiums all my life, and I'm an AMD guy until the day they close their doors, which could be soon, which could be not. I don't know. You know, people are just too ignorant to enjoy the aspect that AMD computer company is. And Pentium's a bunch of, they're like fucking, to me, Pentium is like, how should I say this? Oh, it's just like Apple, actually. Overpriced shit for the same amount of functionality. And why would you want to do that to yourself? I mean, if you like throwing money away, pfft, by all means, if you got it, go for it. But in this economy, you're a fucking idiot. That's what I don't like about gamers, either. Anything that looks remotely good, they'll throw money on it. And that's that pisses me off because, you know, you throw money on these shitty games, and then that just promotes more shitty games. And we live in a world where video games just completely suck dick compared to past generations. So I'm always going to be a retro gamer. I don't think I'm going to move on from the point we're at now. For what it comes to games, I think I'm just going to work on my retro games that I haven't beaten, and once they're all beaten, I'll beat them all again. Why? Because that's what retro gamers do. Anyhow, I want to show you a new toy I have. It's a uh, the USB pass through. I got this from Michelle actually, because she just got a I think it's called a Joy Ego, and the thing is humongous, but it gives lots of vape production. And not only that, it works in a way like a DS. If you plug it into the wall, or plug it into the computer, because she has a USB pass-through, you can get a pass-through that plugs into the wall, though. But you plug it in, and it charges it for you while you're vaping. So the minute, so the moments you put down your e-cig, it's charging it for you. And the charge lasts up to 16 hours, I think. There are 1,000 mAh battery capacity. That is fucking nice. My uh, Wii battery charging thingamajigs. You see, ah, here's my Wii Mo. This thing has a nice, and I do mean nice, uh, charge battery. It's uh, twenty eight thousand, uh, two thousand eight hundred mAh. Fucker lasts is a week or more. It's very nice, very economical. You know, in these tough times where you got to be cheap to survive, that works. <laughs> and, it caught, and, it, and it's really cheap, too. The only problem is, is the other battery that it came with. Sometimes you're going to get a dud battery. If I could find a replacement battery for this one, though, I would be on fucking cloud nine when it comes to battery usage on, on Wiimotes. Let's just say that other one has to stay on the charger in order for it to stay charged for a adequate amount of gameplay. Because if you leave, if you take it off the charger and the charger's not on, let's just say you'll get maybe an hour in. That's how bad the charge holds on that battery. Sometimes you get a dud with it though. It's uh, I forgot the name of the company, but it's like Instead, Inted, something I can't remember. Oh well, 
Anywho, um, I also have a drip tip now. Now these are excellent devices. Well, you, you have a hole that goes to the atomizer. That's what she said. And <laughs> sorry, and you drip into that hole. That's what he said. And <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm being terrible right now. And uh, you wait about a minute. Now I drip prior to this video. I was going to show you the drip, but. I was stuttering all over the place worse than I am on this video and uh, well now I think I'm my mind's on track anyways you press the button just like you would a e-cig battery and you take in your drag as you can see it's a big cloud of vape just like I did with the cartridge. Cartridges I don't like anymore. I refuse to make a cart. That's it's a pain in the dick to get to work correctly. Some of those who prefer carts, hey, more power to you. I prefer the drip method. If you want to watch videos on e-cig usage and ideas and things you can do if you have problems with vaporizers, I suggest. I think his name is Fee03, that's P-H-E-E-03. -E and there's another guy who actually speaks about the benefits of vaping juice, and he's also a physician. Now before I continue about him, his name is Dr. Vapor, by the way. He made a video on Rachel, about Rachel Ray. He had a, because Rachel Ray had a video about e-cigs and, and says, oh, that's disgusting, nicotine. Women like that, I cannot fucking stand, first of all. I hate Rachel Ray. She can die in a fire. I don't care. And they get pissed on by a bunch of crazy people who actually want to have sex with that beast. Ugh. I'd rather fuck a hole in the wall than put my dick in that. Sorry. I just had to say that. I, I, I seriously cannot stand Rachel Ray. I can't stand Ellen. All those stupid bitches with those little talk shows that think they can benefit people's lives. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Shut up. Just fuck off. Seriously. Eat shit and die. Just go away. No one cares about you. Go. Scrap. Beat it. Anywho, Dr. Vape. <coughs> Excuse me. I got uncongested a little bit today, so you might hear me cough and have those problems during the remainder of this video. Anyways, Dr. Vapor stated that that water vapor is basically what you're smoking. You're taking the nicotine and water vapor. But I have to say this much. Having a little bit of experience knowing what lube is made out of that water-based uh, ingredient is also in vape juice. I know, so basically you're smoking water lube. But yeah, check out those two channels. That's Fee, as in P-H-E-E-03, -E and Dr. Vapor. Both of those are excellent channels on personal vaporizers, and they're very informative, and they can sure the hell talk better than I can. I should just give that up. <laughs> or, as my mother says, don't quit your day job. <laughs> but that goes with, you know, if I, like, try to sing and act, you know, cheerful. That's why I gotta get out of here. Just between you and me. Um, that's about it really. I'm getting married Friday. I look, I'm excited. I can't express just how excited I am to get out of here. I mean, this has been my home for 28 years. I'm going to miss Michigan. I will. Because I've had great memories here. But I won't miss this. I won't miss this state in the way that it is now. I mean, Michigan is seriously the most shittiest state I've ever... I can ever experience anyone moving to or being in at this current moment because while I did support Snyder during his campaign he is fucking shit up royally in this state a lot of movie studios are moving a lot of people are leaving he's just he's taking what was bad and just making it even worse you know what Michigan should do sell itself to Canada and Canada's not much better, but at least they get free health care, motherfuckers.
2014, we all gotta sign him up with Obamacare. Fuck you, Obama, you piece of fucking ragged shit. Don't even need to be in this country. You're in the wrong country. Go away. Hate that motherfucker. I know rednecks don't like him too, but I can't blame him. But anyways, I mean, I'm not going to go on into the whole political debate because we all know my stance on that. I believe the American people should band up, take over the American government, and recreate and reboot a country by people for the people, just like it, it was originally <coughs> intended for. Instead of, uh, oh, you just got to do what the government tells you, and you got to live with it, and if you don't like it, then, you know, fuck off. Give me an AK-47 and some ammunition. I'll show you what this motherfucker thinks about this government. I actually had a dream about that. I had a dream I was leading a battalion of, I want to say 50 people. 50, 60 people. And we actually went on, we took over the American government. That would never happen. I don't have that kind of power. Nor do I have that kind of money. <laughs> it's just a dream. Dreams are made for this reason alone. And I had a dream about that though. And people praised and worshipped me almost because I made America to what it used to be. A country full of American values, of people and families, and bettering the current status that it's in now. Now we just have a bunch of old fucks just sitting around spending our money going on going to Africa, Libya, all these countries that are having problems in trying to fix them. Like America wants to be the big brother. America's a dickhead, alright? Don't let that fu don't let them fool you. They're a bunch of dickheads. They don't know what they're doing. If you honestly think America is going to fix the world's problems, then you got to screw loose. America is a shitty country, and I cannot stand it. Yeah, I I know other countries are doing worse than we are, or the other countries are doing. Other countries don't have the, our health care, our doctors, our this or that, blah, blah, blah. I don't care, all right? Where you, where you take the middle man and you shove him out of the picture, that's where I draw the line. And I'm never, and I don't praise this country for anything. This country is shit now. It's not the America I was brought up to believe in. So, that goes to the, not only does it go to the American public, that also goes to the American government. Fuck you. And that's all I gotta say about that. But I'm getting married and I get to move and I thought I'd make one last video before I leave. In the old demonious den. So I got a lot of stuff I'm gonna do. This is probably the last video you'll see for a little while. I got a lot I gotta do when I get down there. I'm not gonna speak of what I'm doing because not everyone needs to know my business. But it's, let's just say, it's, it's time-consuming. But it's going to be wonderful. I, I really have no... You know, I, I'm nervous a little about getting married, and but I'm also excited. And, you know, when you're reaching a world, going into a world of uncertainty, when you don't know what's going to happen, you just try to embrace the change as much as you can. Because what's the point of worrying, getting pissed, because you're frustrated at not knowing what's going to happen? Of course we all want to know the outcome of everything, but you won't know until you actually go through with it. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to go with it, do what I need to do, and enjoy life as much as possible. And when my day of my wake comes, then it comes. Well, that's pretty much all I gotta say, I guess. I really don't have much to say. Get married, and I'm pissed at Juicy Vape, and the American government's a piece of shit. I'm happy it's spring, though, because I'm a fan. I'm a fan of warm, warm weather and and nice things. And that happens in the spring always. And then summer comes, guy candy for all those perverts out there. Women in bikinis, wearing skimpy outfits. Yeah. However, that's not for me. I'm going to be a married man. 
I have my fun in the sun, now it's time to move on to greener pastures with a beautiful marriage of a wonderful woman. And, uh, well, that's uh, all I gotta say for now. You guys have a great time with, with all whatever it is that you're doing while the time I'm gone. I don't know when I'll be on camera again, but I'll be in my new place. And we'll see what goes on from there. You guys take care of yourselves. I love you all. I hope you all have a great time in this whatever you're doing. Those who are suffering, hang in there. Life is bad, but if it hits rock bottom, it can only get better from there. And I hope you all take care of yourselves. Be good to each other. And we'll see you on the flip side. I'll try to be on camera as soon as I can to let you know how the move went and how the wedding went and everything else. But until then, this is all I got to say. You all take care of yourselves once more. And we'll see you soon. I just want to go ahead and note that I'm pissed off at Juicy Vape for a reason. I don't think I explained it in the video. They have a coupon for... 10% off when they're a week behind in orders. You don't make a coupon when you're behind in orders. I'm pissed off at that for that reason. And I didn't I don't think I explained that in the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and explain it now. I'm sorry that I had to put this at the end of the video, but I just wanted to go ahead and make that crystal clear. If anyone can give me a venue that is that ships next day, you know, I'll use that as a backup. Go ahead and write me a PM or a comment. Anything you want to do, go ahead, because I really want to know. And I hope their flavors are good for whatever you give me. Don't suggest Signot, though. A lot of people give them a lot of credit, but I hate their juice. It's nasty. Compared to Juicy Vape and Mrs. T Bakery, it's gross. But, yeah, I'm looking for another venue that will ship next day. So if you can help me with that, I appreciate that. And I'm sorry I made this after the video was made. I just wanted to go ahead and um, throw that out there. So... Throw me a comment. I'll check out the places you're talking about. And then next time I get some dough in my pocket, we'll go ahead and see what we do from there. Anyways, uh, once again, this is Demonious X signing off. Love you guys. Take care, all right? Have a good one.